Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today, I was inspired by pink, so I put on this pink blazer, and I didn't know what I was gonna do, but we came up with this look that I think is really cute. Um, I also wanted to use this Taraji lip glass that I got from MAC, and I don't really use it that often because I don't wear pink a lot, um, and I thought it would be perfect to go with this look. So uh, for the palette, I only use one palette for this whole look. It is the Box of Crayons palette from um, the crayon case, and um, I was able to get all of these looks from there. So I got, um, I used the tan, um, black, deep plum, gold, pink, and purple um, from this palette from this look. And these are all the colors in here. And you can really create some really nice looks in there. Oh, and also... Uh, the baby blue which I put into the waterline so I hope you guys enjoy this look I think it's nice and fun if you're going out it's a good out going out look you guys let me know what you think about this look below uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are feeling this also in the comments let me know if you're liking the content that I'm giving you and if there's anything else you'd like for me to do let me know as well um, please continue to subscribe and share these videos so that other people can see how to get these looks Thank you guys so much for your support and thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. All right, beauties, let's get started with the ColourPop Best and Brows kit. This is a new kit from ColourPop and this is the color Deep Brunette. Comes with two pencils a dip brow pomade and a brow gel. I'm using the defining pencil and I don't really care for the other one. It feels like hard, but this one I really love because it gives really thin hair like strokes. So I just outline my brow and fill it in with hair like strokes and then brush it with the spoolie on the other end to spread the product. My brows are very sparse. So I then go in with the brow pomade, fill in all of the sparse areas. And then we're going to clean up the brow with a flat concealer brush using the Smashbox concealer to get them nice, sculpted, and perfected. And you literally just clean up the, end, the top and the bottom and just take your time. Don't use too much product. And then go ahead and seal everything with the brow gel and get the brows the brow hair is going in one direction. You can see the before and after there. Now we're gonna prime our lids using LA Girl Pro Concealer and Pure Beige and blend that out with um, a brush. I like to blend it out with a brush now because it just helps it to be in more of an even application. For the palette, we're going in with the Crayon Case Box of Crayons palette and into the color called Tan, which is like my complexion. And that's really what you want from your transition shade. Next, I'm going in with this pink color. Um, this color is going to have a focal point of pink because for the month of October, all of my looks are gonna have some type of a pink theme in them for breast cancer awareness. So for the crease, I'm using pink. And once I blend that in the crease, I need some depth. So I'm going into the color Deep Plum and putting that directly into the crease and right underneath where I put the pink and then blending those two colors together so there are no harsh lines. Next, I'm using a pencil brush just to get more of a defined line of where I want to cut my crease and then blending that out. Then we're gonna go into the black because I want to have more of a transition and this the deep plum wasn't quite dark, uh, dark enough for what I was trying to get. It's going to go on the lid, but don't worry because we're cutting the crease, so it's okay that it's on the lid because it's just gonna get covered with the concealer. Then we're gonna go into the pink and blend out the harsh lines from the black. And go back in the pink as much as you need to until you get your blend to be as seamless as possible. Now that that's blended, we're going back in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige. And I'm going to put it on my lid, look up, so that I make sure I, that I go to the area on my crease that's gonna show while my eyes open, because I do have hooded lids. 
and once I perfected that cut crease I'm going to blend out the end with my finger with the shadow then we're going to deepen the outer V with the purple just to give it more depth and we're going to concentrate that color onto the outer V and not anywhere else now we're going to go into the gold you want to use a very flat thin brush that is able to give you precise um, application around the cut crease so you don't go over the line and then to intensify the color I'm going to go in with my finger when you use your finger it just makes the color way more opaque then we're going to go back in with the brush again just to clean everything up and make sure this everything is smooth then back into the outer V with the purple to blend it with the gold now in with the NYX glitter liner I'm just using glitter liner to go over the gold because I don't want it to be a super glittery cut crease I just wanted to add some sparkle then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise eyeliner and I am adding that to my eye I'm not going to wing it out this is just really for um, when I apply my lashes and um, the black to me was a little too harsh so I'm actually going to go over the black liner once I'm done with the deep plum so that all the colors just kind of mesh together with like plums purples and pinks as opposed to just this really harsh black line so I'm going over it right now with the deep plum you can see it kind of lightened it and it just made everything go together better now I'm going in with my face moisturizer that has SPF in it. I believe it's Garnier. My kids lost it, so I have to figure that out. But now I'm going in with the Benefit Pearl Primer. Got that from my Ipsy bag, which is why it was so tiny, and applying that. And then going in with the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 380, which is a tad too dark, but I don't mind my foundation being a little too dark. I would rather that than too light. Now I'm going in with the Fenty uh, Matchsticks and I'm using the color Caramel. And the bundle that I have is the Tan 300. I'm blending this out with a sponge. Then it's not quite light enough, it's almost my complexion, so I go in with the Pure Beige from LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I'm just blending that to add more of a highlight to the look because the Caramel, like I said, from the Matchsticks it's just not quite bright as I wanted it to be. And then with the truffle stick from the Tan 300 bundle for my contour, I like to warm it up on my face with my fingers first and blend it. And then I'll go in with a stippling brush to blend everything to make it more seamless. Then we're gonna go ahead and set all of the highlighted areas with the Satcha Buttercup powder. First, when I apply it, I blend the powder into my skin completely into all of the highlighted areas. And after I'm done getting all of my highlighted areas in, I go in and use the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer to bronze up all of my contoured areas. I like this bronzer because it has the perfect amount of red in it and I have like a reddish yellow undertone. So some bronzers are just too cool for me and this one just is perfect. So even though it's old and decrepit, I'm gonna get another one, but this is definitely my favorite bronzer. Then I'm going to go back in with my Satcha Buttercup Powder again, and now I'm going to bake for a little bit. I'm just only going to bake with the Satcha Buttercup Powder uh, while I blend the shadows underneath my eye. So underneath my um, eye, I'm going to mix the pink and purple to match what my crease color and blend that out. Then go in with my L'Oreal Extreme Black Liner and blend it and then we're gonna blend away the powder. So I didn't leave the bake on for too long. Then I felt like I needed to go over my smile lines with a little bit more powder. And I like to blend out the areas where I feel like there's harsh lines with a brush with no product on it. Add my Lash Paradise Mascara, and then this is the Feisty Blush from Tarte. Now I'm going in with the Crayon Case Honor Roll Highlighter. This is my favorite pressed highlighter. A beautiful champagne gold color and I like to use my it's my Ray Ray highlighter brush to apply it and that's her collection with BH cosmetics
Then I also like to use my highlighter as my inner corner highlight and my brow highlight as well. And I'm adding my Lena lashes. These are Monroe lashes. And I wanted to add some lashes that were not too exaggerated. So I wanted you to be able to see all of the crease work. So I didn't want anything that flared up too high for this specific look. Now I'm going in with Violet Voss Flirt Lipstick. I use this as if it were like an out, like it, as if it were a lip liner. Oh my God, if I could talk. Um, so I just line the outer part of my lips. Then going over the Color Rain Ooh La La Liquid Lipstick, which is this fuchsia. I blend that into the middle and then blend it with the darker color that I put in first. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay Driver Lipstick and adding that to the center. It's my favorite lipstick to add to the center of my lips. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Taraji and MAC Collaboration Pink Lip Gloss, which I think is so beautiful. Then I'm adding the Driver Lipstick right on top to add a spotlight in the center of my lips to just give the lips more of definition and more of an ombre effect. And I felt like something was missing, so I decided to go into the baby blue and add that into my waterline. And you see, I put it on first and looked up to see if I liked it, and I did because I just wanted to add something to kind of make it pop, and I feel like that did. Any areas where I may have any powder on my brows, I just make sure to go back in with the pencil to clean that up, and we are all set. All right, beauties, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Oh my goodness, so right now, while I'm doing this tutorial, my kids are having a sleepover, so it is like mania going on. So that's why I couldn't do a talk through on this tutorial. But um, this is the final look. I think this is so cute. I felt like I needed to add something different, so I added this pop of blue in the waterline. This eye keeps watering, so if you see that you see this line right here is really defined, it's because of the fact that my um, I keeps watering and I have no idea why but it is but anyway um, I really do like how this came out um, we used the box of crayons palette um, also I got that Taraji lipstick the pink one um, from Mac and I hadn't really used it very much so I was happy to be able to use that today on this tutorial with this pink lip and um, the Cullen Rain ooh la la lipstick with it and then I lined my lips with the uh, um, Violet Voss Flirt so this is like what I use for like my new lips as well as like any other lip to just give it like a darker outline but yes this is the look that we created you guys let me know what you think about this look below I hope you like it just as much as I do please leave me a comment in the comments to let me know how you're feeling about this look if you've been liking the content that we've been doing lately let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to do let me know as well also don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please continue to just subscribe to my channel and share these videos so other people can see how to get these looks thank you guys so much for your support and thank you for watching have a good night bye bye